Okay. Round two. Is it on? As T.S. Madison say, is it on? It said it was formatting the SD card. I was like, oh. Okay. Anywho. Um, all right, so let's talk about Lil Boosie. Uh, if you ain't seen the video, don't you worry. We gonna play it. Matter of fact, yeah, let's get into it right now. Shh. No motherfucking shit out here. I'm training them boys right. I'm training them boys right. Ask any of my, 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 my nephew. Ask him them. Ask my son. Yeah. They were 12, 13. They got hit. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Hell yeah, I got my fucking son dick up. You fucking right. <coughs> yes, a grown woman. Grown, super grown. Super grown. Check his ass out. Checked all my nephews out. Super grown. Is she grown? She checked me out. I know what the fuck she did to them. She checked me out, that bitch. I'm getting them prepared, man. I can I exhaust with little Boosie and all these the rhetoric that he continues to spew into the internet and the universe. But oh, excuse me. I am to an extent thankful because quite frankly, Lil Boosie is the only one who thinks like this. And I'm glad that it's being put on the forefront and we can drag this motherfucker down. And we can also drag down the other motherfuckers who think the exact same way that he does. Now, if you didn't grasp the concept of what he said, in so many words, he admitted to having an a older woman, or uh, of age woman, apparently someone over the age of 18, come in at some point, either between the ages of 12 and 13 years old, with his son and his nephews, and perform fellatio. Here I am being FCC friendly. <laughs> Does the FCC regulate YouTube? Can I just like be direct? Okay, I'm gonna do it. And if they flag the video, it ain't for kids, so shit. Oh, that was my cord. Um, he basically said he hired a woman to come in and suck off his kids, his sons, and his nephews at 12 or 13 years old, and she even sucked him off after. I get. I don't know if they did all this at one sitting, or what the fuck the case may have been. But here's the issue with this little boozy. First of all, that's a felony. Um, you basically were an accessory to a statutory rape, basically, in so many words. But here's the issue. The, the larger issue is a whole nother video on a whole nother topic, and it's going to be a whole much longer, a whole lot longer than this one is going to be. This video is just going to cover the topic at hand. But Lil Boosie, the, you are the exact problem with the black community, especially the black men. In the community because quite frankly like I said he's not the only one who thinks this way there are a bunch of men trash men at that who feel the exact same way as Lil Boosie who are okay with everything he said he admitted in this video now I can't change your mind I can't I can tell you that this what you did is a felony and it's against the law you can be imprisoned for it or imprisoned oh ooh, ghetto imprisoned for it <laughs> just ghetto you know you ghetto when you just make up your own words just put two words together boom new word you can be in prison for it and quite frankly i believe Lil boosie needs to be back in jail Lil boosie has this homophobic rhetoric and it's all in an attempt to stop his kids from being gay if you will and his nephews from stop them from being gay let me just i i can't beat this into his head or anybody's head or america's head any more than we have. I'll just be like, fuck it. We'll just go live your goddamn life. Uh, there's no way to change gay. There's no way to change it. And whether Here, this is going to be the kicker. The kicker is going to be when Lil Boosie, one of his sons, grows up and turns out to be gay. And then all of a sudden, he's like, but you got your dick sucked by a woman when you was 12 years old. How are you gay? Because it's not, it's not something you can... You can't turn it on and off like most people think you can. And it blows me when people like Lil Boosie make dumbass statements and comments like this. And then you do dumb shit 
like what you did. Now open yourself up for a full investigation. Because if I was the police down there, where does he live? Louisiana? Where's Lil Boosie from? I forget. Wherever you from, if the police down there don't do something about this, because this is basically video evidence of you admitting to a felony. Basically. This is all they need. This is a, a case open shut. Boom. Lock him up. I think he likes being in jail. There's something with Lil Boosie and his obsession with gay culture, gays in general. There's something to that, in my opinion. There's always something to that. Those men who have some kind of obsession with gay and things of that nature. Especially him. Because every time he opens his mouth, it's some gay shit. So I'm gay. I don't want to be gay. I don't want my kids being gay. I don't want that gay shit around me. All the gay. Every gay. I'm every gay. All of that shit. Something ain't right with Lil Boosie and in his spirit. And I would like to know, personally, what in his childhood or in his past transpired to make him feel like, in his mind, that this is all okay. I'm curious to know that. I need Iyanla to get down to the bottom of that. Iyanla, can you work on that? I'm going to tweet this to Iyanla. Like, girl, I need you to get on the past of Boosie. What went down in his childhood that obsesses him with the gay? Because I can, I, can, I can assume. I don't like to assume, but I can. I can assume that he was touched by a male figure in his childhood. I can assume that, but I don't know that to be true. I can assume he may have witnessed someone be sexually assaulted. I can assume that, but I don't know it to be true. So I'm not going to assume. But I'm just saying, something happened to Lil Boosie as a child or as a teenager. Somewhere back there that makes him think that what he's doing now is perfectly fine and okay. And that goes for him and all the other ones who are okay and agree with what the fuck he just said in that goddamn video. So listen, like I said, I'm not I'm all open for an opinion. If you feel a certain way, please leave it down in the comments. This is a safe space. We will not badger you. At least I won't. I don't know what the other girls in the comments gonna do. But I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not gonna badger you if you feel like Lil Boosie is doing the right thing. I'm not gonna badger you. We just got a difference of opinion. So leave it down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And uh Girl, that's it. Peace and blessings.